morning. It is Saturday morning and man guys, when it rains it pours around here. <laughs> Which speaking of, it's supposed to rain like a lot in the next upcoming weeks. But last night my car I think was possessed by Carrie. Um, electrically it was doing things I've never seen before and I I couldn't start my car so my dad's like okay we'll just jump it and it meanwhile it just got out of the dealership five days ago for some other electrical issues so it made me a little suspicious but long story made short couldn't get the car started we jumped it and then my car went through like all these different electrical like it wouldn't let me shift into neutral there was no LED display the speakers on the theater in the back were popping the doors were opening and closing the lights were flashing on the headlights it looked like my car was possessed and then I couldn't turn my car off so we had to kill it my dad I was like dad what do we do I can't kill the car now and we ended up having he just pulled the negative off the battery but it's up there right now so my plan today was there was a garage sale in my parents neighborhood and I was gonna go up there let the kids actually go garage sale shopping and actually the first thing they've actually done other than sit inside a house for the two months is they were gonna go for a garage sale and then I was gonna go for a nice run. It's kind of chilly, but again, kind of get the run out early in the day. But my car died last night, so we took it up late last night and they're still looking at it. And again, it's more money. <laughs> I swear guys, it when it rains, it pours. It's just like, can I not have something bad happen to me for just like a week? It's been crazy. It has been absolutely crazy. I don't know about you guys, but it's been crazy. Okay, so everybody raised their hand on quarantine day 942. Are you bored yet? <laughs> ha! Holy moly. I never thought I would say I was bored again. Just because I've always been so busy and I've always worked so many jobs and I've always just, you know, whenever I had downtime, it was relaxing. Battery. Oh my gosh, guys. Make the storm stop. So summer has been into Barbies. She loves playing Barbie dolls and then she watches like on her tablet. It's like Elsia and Anya. So it's like little Elsa and little Anna. And she watches and plays along with them. It's so cute. Say hi. hi. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and Max is over here. He's playing video games. And when he can't figure out a certain part of the game, he researches it on YouTube and figures out how to get to the next level. Max, what's in your nose? <laughs> Guys, there's a Barbie explosion. <laughs> My daughter's been playing with Barbies all day long and they're everywhere. It's so cute, she just loves playing with Barbie. I used to play with Barbies all day long as well. I just loved like the make-believe and just playing with them all the time. So I'm so happy that she enjoys it. Now she's sitting outside and she's a bottomless pit. She will not stop eating. Like I just cut up a pound of strawberries and she's eaten a whole pound of strawberries and then Max is upstairs, he's watching TV, and he's eating strawberries, like bottomless pit. So yeah, she's just out here on the deck, and it's kind of chilly, it's like 55, and she just keeps taking her blanket out, eating a hot dog and strawberries. She's just happy and content all by herself. <laughs> oh, she's so stinking cute. Um, but I am cooking dinner, and I swear dinners just now, since the family is not completely together, have just been hodgepodged. So I was like, I'm going to actually try to make something. So look, I'm actually cooking something, guys. Yes, it's boiling water, but I'm just gonna make some like noodles. And then, I, like I said, I cut up some strawberries. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. But I think if like a smoothie and some noodles, I don't know. So that's my plan for dinner. It's not really exciting. I went for a five and a half mile run today. Felt really, really good. Um, I'm still super tight in my hamstrings. So whatever you guys know to do, I've been stretching. I've do post stretching so after my workout just when I'm really warm I feel or during kind of like in the middle of my run I'll kind of stop and kind of lean over try to stretch my hamstrings IT bands and stuff like that but if you know a way to stretch your hamstrings mine are so tired I've been really doing a lot more hills for running and riding and I think it's really tightened them up and they're so tight like so tight like painfully tight when I start running so let's make this Alright guys, this 
is cycling Barbie. She has like, <laughs> as I say, jello legs. <laughs> Somebody thinks that's funny. She has jello legs because she cycled so long. Wait, Anybody wait, else wait. think Barbie's got way too much makeup on to go cycling? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Jello legs. <laughs> oh boy. Poor cycling Barbie. <laughs> face. <laughs> so I'm cleaning out some of my old biking stuff that I have. And like here's one of my first pairs of cycling shoes that I had. Um, but I found in my tri sports, which they don't exist anymore, the nutrition. I believe this was from my 2012 Ironman Louisville race. I'm a little embarrassed and a little afraid of what I was going to find. Oh my gosh, guys. This is gross. I'm going out. up on the computer watching puppy videos and she's just giggling and laughing um, but yeah it's like 49 degrees yes it's May 13th and it's 49 degrees it's supposed to be cloudy and rainy most of the day but we're gonna get a warm front so it'll be warmer so with it being cooler and then um, the kiddo's dad is gonna come over and have dinner so I made a crock pot recipe because I was like, I'm gonna have to use this roast and I'm sure it's gonna be, it's supposed to be like 85 in a couple days. So I'm like, I'm probably not gonna want like warm meals after this. So I thought I might as well use what I have. Yeah, just getting ready for dinner. I can't believe I'm making, like this is what I make like when it's cold, like November, December, and January. So like I said, use what I have, I guess, because I'm not gonna want pot roast when it's 85 degrees out. So got dinner ready, my coffee just finished. And I feel like I look like Cravella DeVille. I don't even know what's happening anymore. And then I was gonna go for a run, but the radar looks like storms are coming, so I need to get off here, eat breakfast, and hurry up. So guys, how are you doing? I just got done with a run a couple hours ago, and it felt good. It's hot and it's humid, finally, and then you guys will like my shirt. Not today, mother, I need to put the two together. This was the route on their garment that they took when this um, woman was being attacked on her run. So that was a pretty cool shirt. I got a while back, but it's been so cold I haven't been able to wear it. So I'm just getting the kids something to eat. And I don't know about you guys, but I have been trying to find something to do with the kids this summer because they announced in our past city and pretty much our entire counties included as well that none of the pools will open this year for the whole season. So basically May, June, July, and August, they will be closed and they will not open at all. So I've been trying to find like a slip and slide or some sort of like pool. And with our house being on the market, obviously I can't set up too much, but I need something that could set up quickly, be torn down quickly, but yet they could still have some fun this summer. 
So I don't know, what are you guys gonna do with your kids this year? I'm obviously not gonna be swimming because I pretty much swam at like the city pools or the county pools. So that's out. I pretty much won't swim now until the foresee like any foreseeable future, I won't be swimming. So September might be the next time that I can swim. It's it's crazy swimming. I it was my least favorite, but when it's taken away, you realize what you had. It was like, oh, I kind of miss swimming. So good thing is I'm trying to kind of make swimming still a part of my workout by just doing upper body strength, which is good because I kind of lost touch with weights. So I've really gotten back into weights since this um, crisis or pandemic that we're going through, but I don't know what to do with the kids. So I'll show you some of the ideas I'm looking at. Maybe some bounce houses, like a slipper slide, maybe like an at-home kind of pool that blows up. I don't know what to do, but they're also expensive. But I'm also knowing that we're not gonna go on vacation. They're not gonna have camps. They're not having any extracurricular activities. So I don't know, what do we do, guys? Those with kids, what do we do this summer? I know some pools are opening, but that was one of our big things is pools. So gotta figure out what to do with them. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning and I am headed out for a ride this morning. I was supposed to work the day shift today, but it got canceled and they asked if I could work the overnight shift. So of course I'm like, sure, because <laughs> I don't have the kids there with their dad this morning and then um, also tomorrow. So I thought, well, I'll work tonight. I'll take the day and go for a bike ride, but then I'm going to have to nap at some point in time. Well, the problem with napping is, is we're having an open house today. So, oh, it's so hard to get sleep in because I thought, well, I don't have kids. I'll just work the overnight. It's not going to be that big of a deal. But then I forgot I have an open house today at from two to four, which is usually like the time I sleep. I usually get like a, I usually try to sleep like an hour and a half to two hours, but I don't get anything close to it just to try to kind of rest before I go in for the night. Because around two or three in the morning, oof, that's when it hits and that's when you're like, I'm tired and my body wants to go to sleep. So that is the plan for today. Um, I plan on going somewhere different today. I want to try to ride, you know, I usually say go south, you know, kind of where it's more rural and the roads are more open and everything, but it's kind of cold and dreary out today. So I'm thinking about going actually north to kind of some different areas. I, I used to ride around there, but I haven't been doing that for a long time because it's also usually busier, so we will see. But that's the plan. And then today is also the mini monthly. So these I'm collecting like the coffee mugs and each one, oh, don't drop it. These are hot commodities, <laughs> um, is for a ride. So this one's also is obviously for Space Mountain. Um, and they release one every month. And so you guys can see the only thing left in my house that has like something of me but space mountain pirates of the caribbean uh the teacups and then it's a small world and today is the tiki room that gets released so what that means is at 10 a.m is when it releases online and i'll probably be on my bike right so i'm probably gonna have to like jump off my bike and try to order the coffee mug on shop disney from my phone <laughs> so we'll see how it goes but yeah i'm trying to just collect them because i want to display them obviously when i move and get my own home and everything again so that's the plan let's drink this coffee hope it'll warm me up because it's 60 degrees out it's so stinking cold around here it's so not normal so i'll show you guys it's just kind of cloudy and dreary out it's i feel like i show you this every day and, and and it's not just a repeat this is just what it looks like in kansas city every single day all right i got my stuff ready to ride and then i'm in a virtual waiting room to buy my mug and it's been in a virtual waiting room for 20 minutes i don't know how much longer i can wait all right she is ready let's do this it's ready to ride it's still kind of chilly out it's like 62 so i actually have like my big thick jacket so Fingers crossed that it's not too much. <laughs> At least I won't be cold, right? Let's go ride. All right guys, well I'm here and I'm on my ride and I'm about halfway, I rode a little over 17 miles to my kiddos because I didn't include one of his favorite Nintendo games. So I killed two birds with one stone and I took his Nintendo Switch over to his dad's house and he got his game and he's super happy. So I'm still getting my ride in. He got what he needed to. I need to go home, finish up stuff for the open house, and then I need to somehow sleep before I work all night. But it's really nice out. Um, 
really hot, really humid. But this is actually one of the schools I believe my dad went to this one. So it's one of the older schools. It's in, actually in like the Shawnee Mission School District. But I think it's John Deemer Elementary. So this is where we are at. But this is the second week that I don't have my kiddos with me. So it's been hard. I don't think it's ever gonna get easier. I keep thinking, oh, it's gonna get easier. I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get used to it. You know, everything will just kind of work it out. It work itself out. But man. It is just not getting any easier. I miss them like crazy. So it was good to see them on this ride. It definitely made motivation to bike those 17 miles north of here so I could go drop it off for them. But I miss them and I can't wait to see them tomorrow evening. So let's take this home and I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I am back from my ride. It was a good ride and just good temperature, really very little wind. I've been lucky the last few weeks. There's just been so little wind. So it makes it so nice to ride, but I've got to hurry up and I've got to shower, eat lunch. And then I got to like vacuum up the house, just pick up like the last minute things. So the agent can basically have the open house later today. So fingers crossed, please. <laughs> open houses. Um, that's actually how we found this house was, it was an open house and we were like, oh, we'll just go by and look at it. And I just fell in love with it. Literally just fell in love with it. And I'd been to hundreds of open houses before and I'd never fallen in love the way that I did with this house. So maybe it'll work just like it worked for us. Um, and we can get this thing sold and I can start moving on with my life and with my kiddos. So let me get showered and I'll check it out. You guys, I got the grass cut. I had an overnight shift last night, so I'm tired, but I'm not doing too bad. I took a nap doing okay but I got the grass cut and I swear sometimes when I, I did the lines I'm like were your eyes open when you cut the grass <laughs> seems like the lines aren't very straight but got the grass all cut and my kiddos are gonna head over very soon it's like a hurricane out there it's like 25 mile an hour wind sustained Dante's peak is on so don't mind the noise um, so yeah I slept like three hours after my overnight shift came home, um, slept, and then I went and got some groceries, and then I cut the grass, and then cleaned out the garage just a little bit because it's just got, you know, just like kind of that spring cobwebs everywhere. So I cleaned that out, and the kids should be over in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna go get cleaned up so that I don't stink like grass and sweat and stank, so. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. Well, I don't know if you guys have like a Sam's Club or a Costco, but this is a Hawaiian hazelnut. Um, and it is one of the best coffees I've ever had. So very, very good. It's like a medium roast. It's already ground, um, but very, very good. Um, it's a strong flavor, but it's not overpowering. It almost kind of has like a vanilla, obviously hazelnut uh, taste to it. So very good. All right, guys, here's my massage. <laughs> I have a massage rolling chair that like you just add to any chair. And I've had it, my parents got it for me. Gosh, this is gonna date me like 15 years ago, like when I finished the fire academy, because I was always so sore after class in the academy and training. So it was nice to have. And then I've got my Theragun or the, you know, the knockoff. And then I just kind of pushed, um, I need to push more on my feet and stuff, so. I miss my massage place so bad, I mean, I only went like once every six weeks, but it was just nice because the guy that did my massage, oh my gosh, fingers of butter. It's just everything. Like every knot was gone. All the tension was gone. So I can't wait. I think they open up next week, but I'm still kind of a little leery. I'm kind of waiting just a little bit longer, but let's get this massage going. Well, hello guys. It is another day and I went for a six and a half mile run. Felt good. It is cold outside. But I am gonna wrap up this week for you guys. I'm gonna go get this vlog ready for you. I hope you had a great time watching. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and I will check in with you guys all next week. Hope you guys are hanging in there. What are we at, like week like 951 of quarantine? But <laughs> I will check in with you guys next week. Have a great week.